So I got the uh, tail end of his anger, right? Well, that's the uh, end of a, an eventful day. The last event being a little scuffle, which I got a little cut from it, but that'll heal over time. All right, we just got a call. It's an unknown trouble call where this male called in, said that he uh, needed police, and then hung up. So they're unavailable to get a hold of him again. So I'm not showing any previous, sir. 24, it's going to be on the right. How you doing? Did you call? All right. No? I'm not no? Here. How you doing? Did you call us? How you doing, sir? Did you call us? Nope. No? Just a friend visiting up here. Okay. I don't know these people. I don't know these drunks. They're drinking in the parking lot. Oh, and, okay. Uh, that's all I know. So they're bothering you? Nothing else. They're bothering you? No, sir. That's my that's my temper. That's your temper? Yes, what? it is. Okay. I'm being honest. Why should I lie? Are they your friends? Uh, one of them was my uncle. The other guy, I really don't know him. Okay. Are you having an argument with them? Uh, no, we're just talking. Go ahead and stand in front of the car for me. St stand in front of the car. What? Stand in front of the car. Okay. Control three easy. Uh, it seems to be 417 related. Can you get a Spanish speaker in here? Talk to me. Let him go, sir. He did that wrong. Do you have any guns? Anything on you? No, I don't have anything. Let me just check, okay? Take me because I'm not. Get on the ground. <laughs> Get on the I'm ground okay. now. I am. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You want 50,000 okay. volts? Get on I'm the okay, ground sir. now. I'm okay. Three easy, 416. You want to hit me? Get on the ground. Uh, okay, that's right. Get on the ground now. That's all right, that's all right. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. Give me your hand. You got me tip? Put your feet out. Put your feet out. You have ID? Yes, sir. Accept the team. Can I change? Do I mean strength? Do I step? Stand up. Stand up. Let's go. Do you me a whistle? No, His ID's happen. on the ground over here. Okay, what happened? So now you heard me coming back? Oh, Lord. Stand right there. Now, this is the, the guy that called. He's mad at his uncle. We're in front of my car. He said, I don't have any problems. These guys are just drinking in my parking lot. I don't want them here. Then he started coming out here, tried to pat him down. And that's when he started to fight. And here we are now. I guess he got a little bloody. Which finger is it? This middle one. I think it was when I was, my, my uh, hand was on the ground. And I was trying to uh, get him in custody still. He was still fighting. I pulled my hand out, and uh, I think that's when I got caught on a rock. Basically, he started coming toward me. Uh, I think he was the one that was uh, was calling the police, and then hung, hung up, hung up on the uh, the operators. So uh, when he get here, he's yelling, "I don't have anything to do with it." And uh, these two gentlemen in front of my car here were. Uh, just standing out here in the parking lot. He's yelling from the balcony. They didn't do anything wrong, let him go. He started walking down. When I go to, to get his hands to, to put him behind his back, 
to give him a pat down for weapons. He began pulling away from me, and at that time, he began to uh, struggle with me and got in a little um, tussle and got down to the ground. All right, this guy actually called the police. Okay. The, uh, the guy in the cowboy hat here lives upstairs where the, with the open door. The guy in the blue shirt um, came over to ask about a car that the guy in the cowboy hat has for sale. Okay. This is cowboy hat guy's uh, nephew. Okay. So they're talking about the car and the nephew comes out. He's drunk or looks like he's high to me, but right. uh, he starts yelling at the, at the guy in the blue shirt about something. The guy's like, hey, I don't want to fight with you. So he called the police and then I guess you showed up and wound up fighting with this guy. So. I got the uh, tail end of his anger, right? Well, that's the uh, end of a, an eventful day. The last event being a little scuffle, which I got a little cut from it, but that'll heal over time. i got to fix my uniform a little bit, but he's off to jail for obstructing a police officer. We're going to stop this vehicle northbound. It's got a right rear brake light out. I'll be monitoring northbound. I'm going to stop one up about the 147 for uh, 1 to 10. Tag on it. brakes out, too. That's right. Rear brake light is out. Yeah, if he stops. So I'm going to throw anything out the window and watch it wet when we get up there. Hands up on the steering wheel, man. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Go ahead and turn the car off. Stop, you got a brake light going down. You have your driver's license with you? Keep your hand right up where you can see him, okay? What took you so long to pull over? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Daniel's still living in Newport Ritchie? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from tonight? Uh, Palm Beach County, sir. Palm Beach? Yes, sir. Okay, what are you doing over there? Well, I'm coming home. Uh, oh, is everybody okay? Yes, sir. Whose funeral was it? That's my brother's own. Brother? Oh, man. What happened? Well, he was murdered in Fort Myers, sir. So, but he got buried where at? Um, I'm, oh, I'm reaching for the club. I was going to get my... Uh... Don't worry about it. We'll get it later. Oh, okay. What happened to him? Oh, uh, he was murdered in Fort Myers. What happened? Um, K-9, can I? Okay, Go ahead, sir. What happened? What happened, Daniel? Um, you don't have to get the camera. What's going on? Keep your hands right down the wheel. Yes, for me, okay? sir. I got drugs in the car. How much do you have? I don't know. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you just turn around right in your seat. I'm going to have you step out for me, okay? I want you to behave yourself when you come out. And you treat, yes, I'll treat you like a man. You treat me like a man, okay? Just spin around. I'm going to put these on just for a second until we figure out what's going on, okay? Yes, step right around. Put your hand behind your back, all right? Daniel, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you can't have an attorney, we'll provide one. Um, you can stop answering anytime until you talk to a lawyer, okay? Notice you got crack all over you, man. Were you trying to throw it out of the car when we were pulling you over? No. All right, where did it go? No, it's in the car. How much is it? Did you try to eat some? Yeah. All right, you want us to call you an ambulance? How much did you eat? No, I, I, I hopefully I'll be all right. Well, how much did you eat? I don't know. I didn't. I don't think I ate man. You didn't get it down? How many pieces did you think you ate? I'm worried about you. I don't want you to start having a heart attack or something. I mean, how many pieces do you think you ate? I don't think I I don't think I got any down. It was disgusting. Four to ten. Well, yeah. Four. My sergeant here is gonna stand with you for a second. He ate a little crack when we pulled him over. He's got a bunch of it on him. It's cover he's covered in it. So we're gonna check the car. Are you sure you don't want us to call you an ambulance because you ate a little bit? Daniel, we're gonna we're gonna check the car now to see if there's anything else in there. Is there any guns, drugs, there's, weapons? Sir, there's nothing else except what's in there right now. How there's many pieces did we start off with? I don't know. <sighs> I don't many, know. How many do you think? You bought it. I don't know. Sarge, if you want to go ahead and, and put him in the back of Eddie's car. Right here. Yeah, there's crack throughout the vehicle. You can see it. When we pulled him over, he took a really long time to Ooh, pull over. There's a lot down here um, in the seat too. Looked like he was probably either trying to eat it. Uh, 
he admits that he was trying to eat some of it, Eddie, when we pulled him over, so uh, right. didn't get, get any of it down. Get some gloves because it looks like he had it, some of it in his mouth. He yeah, he out. chewed it all up here. This actually looks like big bars of soap. It's crack. I bet he ate it. He tried. When we came up, he was still he was still yeah, fighting he ate, it down. He ate a little bit. As soon as I pulled him over, you could see it. It was covered on his chest and on his face. He had it everywhere. Had gone a miles out to get yeah. here from. Oh, sitting there. He started going in with his brother. Just got murdered, and he, he couldn't even stay with his fake story. He was he was too ate up with the with the with the drugs in his system. Let me get some rubber gloves. All okay. right. Just a swab test kit. If you reacts to uh, the presence of the cocaine, if you touch it, it should turn blue. You can see it's turning some of the cocaine itself blue, so it's positive. And you can see wherever here where he had the uh, the bag right here that he he tried to chew up the baggie that he had it in and then end up spitting the baggie out too. Uh, if you will, would you please let me get my girl's number out of the phone? Let me please notify my family what's going on right now. They, they, they won't know what's going on with me. I, I know that I'm in trouble and that I'm going to jail right now. I would like to notify my family. Would you please, officer, allow me to? That seems reasonable. We'll make sure you call your family. Okay. Well, well, can I can I get the number? I need the number. I don't have the yeah, number. It's the it's my not going anywhere for a little while. Daniel, we're not gonna take off. I'll, I'll get the number, sir. Anything in no. your underwear, Daniel? No, sir. You no, know he's gonna check. I know he's gonna check, sir. So I don't have nothing. All right, cool. Don't worry about it. Not a violent guy whatsoever. Yeah, Any kind of way. I appreciate that. Okay. It's like to get high. Uh, this is more than a than a typical user would do. Oh, this this is for resale here. Uh, probably going to be a little over maybe 20 or 30 grams. Uh, so you're talking maybe a couple thousand dollars worth of crime. Most of the time, when you catch a guy dead to rights and he's got it on him, they're going to at least try to say it's for personal use. When you're caught, you got to come up with some excuse. But you know, I think it would take a even a, a hardcore crackhead. A long time to smoke all of that. What are you placed under arrest tonight? Is you're placed under arrest for possession of cocaine with intent to distribute. I found that much drugs in your car, on you, all around you, that it's more than an average person would use to smoke. Okay? So that's what you're going to go to jail with tonight. Um, you'll be transported to jail just here in a little bit, and your vehicle is going to be seized. It's going to be taken away from you. You can't use this vehicle in a commission of a crime, all right? For that. About a five, so we're no injunction or anything. 1402 Alpha County, I'm 97. Yeah, 1990. This is dumb. Hey. Okay, Come here. Six, eight, seven, four, six, how old are you? 16. Well, how long has that basketball court been there? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's ours. Whose? It's uh, ours. Ours is who? You? Yeah. Yes. How old are you? I'm 11. I think that one of these people are complaining the guy's not putting the ball in their yard, are you? No. Oh, she started going off on us about how we were a little gym she was with cousin us. Yeah, she was cousin with us. Yeah. Let me go talk to her, please. Okay. 1405, I've been out with this lady before. Actually, was, I was out here about two months ago. I said people were stealing stuff from her house. But she's a nice lady, so we come out and take care of her when we can. All right, ma'am. What's the deal? Yeah. What's wrong with the kids? What's wrong with the kids? Yeah. They're going to fall over okay, here. You see the rocks the over there? They yeah. fell already over here. OK. And I, his head hit the ground and went bang like that. He could have split it open. OK. I don't want to be sued for being hurt here you won't on be my sued. property. It's my property they're falling on. Okay, well, uh, the basketball court is actually on their property, and they it's, have the... It's too small there to play basketball. It belongs up the street. Well, actually... That's where it came from. Ma'am, those children that have it now don't live up the street. They live well, here. where's my rights if they got rights? Where's mine? This is my property. I have no rights. You have rights, ma'am. I don't think so. They're not, they they're not entering your property, are they? That they have the rights. I don't. Well, they also told me that in their only 10 and 11 that you've been cursing Pardon at them. Pardon me? They said that you've been cursing at them. That is what? Cursing, okay, using foul language. I'm not cursing them. I just tell them stay away from my property. That's what I tell them. Call them dimwits. Take that and play it up the street. I don't curse at them. Okay. Well, here, I know better here, than that. You, you own a certain part of the property, but 
uh, part of the property off the road is also owned by the we had county. Port, you know, too, port, that's you know, right. Five, but this yeah, part under behind the, the fence the here is mine. Behind the fence, yeah. That's right, and that's where they're running from. And they're falling on the ground, and they're going to fall on the So they, they play basketball, they jump we the fence, the fall, and then jump back over? No. I'm not against it. Play all the basketball you want, but there's not the place for it. Well, There's not enough room here. It's a small space. Okay, well, up the street's not going You can see gonna... that with the naked eye. You don't need it written down in blood to see that's a small space to play okay. with five or six boys. Seven, 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 Tall seven, boys, seven, little seven, boys, seven, big boys. Well, personally, I'd rather have them playing basketball either. than they're breaking in your house or throwing rocks at your house. Well, that's fine, but not here. There's not enough space here. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, I'm going to ask them to move it down a little bit. I'm going to ask them to move it down a little bit off the curve. That way it's away from your rocks. They were over there where that car is? That's yeah. their father's car. Yeah, well, I'm going to ask them to move the basketball right. court over there. Well, All right. How, how old are you? 17. Where do you live at? Uh, in that part of the train on the other side. All right. Can, uh, can you do me a favor, you and the big guy, move that court over to in front of that white car? Her concern is these rocks, no, which... We used to have it right there, and she told us to move it over here. Could we just move it down in front of the white car? Okay. All right. Try to stay away from her fence. But have fun. I'm all for you guys playing basketball instead of uh, instead of uh, getting in trouble, right? Where's the ball at? Let me get a ball. Who, who wants to go one on one? Come on, chump. Yeah, that's good. All right, who wants one on one? You? Come on. What's up? <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, your turn. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Look out. They moved it. They're not gonna. They're safe. They're not solving nothing. They're still by my fence. They're in the street, ma'am. I'm here still. It's not gonna solve a thing. They bust my fence. Their parents are not gonna pay for it. Ma'am, they're not going to bust a fence. What? This is a strong fence. You paid good money for this fence for a reason. This is not going to bust. I mean, they're if little a, kids. If one of them falls up against it, they will. It'll bend it. Well, I'll tell you what. If they fall and bend it, you call me out, and I'll make sure someone takes care of it. Oh, yeah, like you're doing now. You're not happy with the service you're getting? Yeah, they doing what they want here. What are kids, ma'am? Last scene, wearing yeah. a softball jeans with a red so and white So you're standing patches, up for them. I have no rights. I have no, no say so. I don't I see them no doing anything wrong right now. I'm not saying you don't have any rights, but right now they're not doing anything wrong. Yeah. Doing what normal boys do, play it's basketball. It's going on every night, late at night. People got to get up for work. I don't have to, thank God. But they have to get up for work, too. Okay. Not only me, there's new people here. Well, it seems like I've talked. There's people here that are sick. OK. That's well, right now, there's nothing that they're doing wrong. I've talked to some of the neighbors. They don't have a problem with it. You're the only one that has a problem with it, so. That's right. It's my property. Bring it by their house and see if they don't have a problem. OK. Bring that basketball court over there or over there, and you'll see how fast they complain. OK. Do that. All right, guys, just uh, just keep doing what you're doing. You guys aren't doing nothing wrong, all right? I want a rematch. Ready? <laughs> he got pinky. I'll leave you, I'll you. I'll leave you. Good job. See you later. What I asked you guys to do is just stay away from the fence. But as long as they're not out too late, then there's no problem. The guys we are having fun. We go in when it's dark you can't see when you... You're fine. You're all fine. Okay. okay? All right, guys. See you later. See you later. Yeah, I, uh, I'd rather see them out here playing basketball and have me chasing these little kids breaking into houses and cars. Just older ladies here, seems like it's a nuisance, but I like it here. I got boys, and if they were out playing basketball, I'd be quite happy with that. Six, Lionel, 97 also. Walking in on foot. Four, sir. Hey, hold up a minute, man. There you go. Hands up. 
Hands up. Get them both up. On the ground. On the ground. Get on the ground. Now. Don't rush in. Don't rush in. Hands out. Hands out. Cross your feet. Do it now. Yes, sir. Put your face on the ground. Look away. Look away. Look to your left. Sir, what, what are you arresting me for? You're being detained. What are you guys arresting me for? Secured? Gun right. Is that a gun right there, Nance? 1012 secured. Yes, sir. I, I have a gun. I was just going back to my place. Where's your gun? It's, it's in my shoulder holster right here, sir. Shoulder holster. Right. All right, continue, continue searching him real quick. Loaded. Yes, sir. One's chamber. One in the chamber? All right. We got two mags also, empty. Sir, what is this about? Nice. Sir? I was just going back. Well, right now you're carrying a gun. We'll talk to you in just a minute. Right. Left, uh, uh Pants pocket? Yep. Yes, sir, I, I, have a, I have a marijuana pipe. Yeah, we know that. We just found it. Yes, sir. Scroll back on your face. Well, I got two news articles in here about bank robbers that happened in Fort Myers area. <coughs> Reference to Robin and Sun Trust Bank and Daniels. What's your day, Bruce? Two news articles about the bank robbers. He yeah, had a loaded Glock, uh, shoulder holster, one in the chamber, two empty mags, pipe, a couple flashlights, match the description, carrying a radio. I'll go up and talk to the complaint, and, and uh, we'll come back and figure out what exactly we got. Can, can you guys get my, my stand? Yeah we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll get all your property in just a minute, man. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys, for any trouble I caused. Okay. Sit at an angle, all right? Don't sit on your hands. It hurts. Yes, sir. Okay. You guys are called? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Tell me basically what happened. Um, me and him were taking out the trash. And out of nowhere comes this dude, out, like out of the darkness. And he's like, hey, man, what's up? He had a beer He had a beer in his hand. He's like, hey, man, what's up? You guys want to party? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ah, no. You know, I got a kid at the house. I'm chilling. I'm just checking the mail. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we sat down. And he's like, oh, man, I'm... I've been doing coke, smoke, I smoked out with all these dudes. And he's like, now nah, I'm just chilling, about to go get another 12 pack. And he's like, you guys want to see my gun? Just like that, I don't even know him. And I was like, are you kidding me? So this fool pulls out a gun out of his holster. And he's like, yeah. Where was, where was the holster at? Uh, right here. The shoulder holster? Yes, sir. OK. And he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, it's a nine millimeter or something. So I was like, wow. And uh, he's like, yeah. I robbed a bank just like that. Dude. He just told you that. Just so, like that. And, and you know, being geeked up the way he was and, and stoned, I don't think he was lying. Right. He was just, he's so proud of himself. And he said, yeah, they wrote an article on me and everything. He's like, I put a fake tag on my car. And I went in there and I had a ski mask and I walked in. I had just gotten my gun and I pointed it at him and I told him I wanted all the money. And they started to give me ones and then they started shoving 50s and hundreds in my book bag. And I was like, wow, so how much did you get? He's like, 3,500. I was like, really? Where do you live? And he's like, I live in building one. I came straight here, and it's all here, and blah, 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 this, that, and the other. All right. And then we'll, we'll just have you hang tight until the detective gets here, and we'll, we'll get right. a quick statement from you. Right. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Steven, yes, do you sir. have a concealed weapons permit? No, sir. No? No, sir. OK. You ever been arrested before in the past for anything? Yes, sir. For what? Oh, possession of burglary tools. How long ago was that? That was about five, six years ago, sir. Five or six years ago? How old are you now? 21. 21, so you're a juvenile when that happened? Yes, sir. Okay. I just got the gun today, sir. I, I practiced firing at Fowler Firearms. The only time I ever took it out was to the to the pool, and I was under the impression that, you know, you could take it you could take it to your car, you could take it around your, your house and stuff. OK. You, have you been doing any drugs or anything today? Oh. Uh, Be honest now. What would you do? I, I, I smoked a little bit, sir. You smoked a bit of what? Marijuana or crack? Uh, marijuana, sir. Marijuana? All right, right now you're going to jail for carrying a concealed firearm, okay? Possession of marijuana paraphernalia. 
drug paraphernalia? Yes, sir. All right. And we'll get you down the holding cell here shortly, and we'll come in and see if you want to have a talk. All right? Yes, sir. All right, hang tight. He had this gun. There was a round in the chamber. It's concealed. It was concealed. He doesn't have a concealed weapons permit. We, we uh, verified that. So right now, right now he's going to go to jail for uh, the gun and the paraphernalia. The guy was following him for quite a ways uh, on the phone with dispatch. Take over here. Basically, uh, the person reporting said that he kept hitting curbs and swiping side to side on the road. And you can see there some damage to the vehicle from where he hit a curb or something. And uh, he actually made contact with the house here. We got the air unit here. We think he's hiding in one of these backyards. Ah. He was last seen jumping over this wall, so we're gonna... There's a hundred places he could be hiding back here. In either yard? Well, 34, go ahead. Left right there. There'll be a yellow car in the driveway and a silver pickup truck parked out in front. It's uh, trailer that I'm looking at is in my light there. That's affirmative. The air unit thinks he might be hiding underneath this trailer here, so let's see if we can't find this guy. Metro Police, show me your hands. How you doing? Control 1 George 34, code red. Hey, I see you laying in it. If you do not extend your hands out and crawl out, I'm going to release the dog on you. Control 1 George 34, I got one at gunpoint. Me He's not responding to voice commands. The address air unit just gave 53. Hey, sound off! Or you're gonna get the dog released on you. Crawl out now! Or you're gonna get tased. Come out, hands. Stay on your face. Stay on your face. Keep crawling. Keep crawling out. Keep crawling out. Weapons on you? Any knives? Any needles? Roll over to your side. Come on up. Use yourself. Bounce, use your knee. Bounce yourself. Come up. Come on. Well, we, we weren't even sure. It's 20 minute time lapse. Can you please let my wife pick up my car? My your car is going. No, your car ain't going nowhere. You crash into a house. Come on out here to the patrol car. One George 34, code four, lift the red. I crashed into a car? A house? Yeah, you actually crashed into the house. Can you let her pick up my bank card, please? Where's your bank card at? I have it in my pocket, obviously. How much you had to drink tonight? A lot. A lot? Yeah. Please, I let her pick up my bank card, please. Hey, dude, I open up that gate. And I and I ducked down. I'm sorry, sorry. I ducked down and uh, with the light on my gun, looked down. He's all cr crowded under there. Just under the trailer. You ever been arrested before? I have an extensive criminal record. Okay, yeah. Well, just give me the most serious then. The felonies. Kidnapping. Kidnapping. Yeah. Is the most serious thing you've been arrested yeah. for? Any uh, stolen vehicles, anything like that? Uh, no. Okay. You have any warrants for your arrest right now? Yes. Okay. Where you got warrants for? For driving under um, DUI and um, driving without a license. How much have you had to drink tonight? Like about at least an 18 pack. An 18 pack? Yes. Sir. Okay. Wow. DUI. Okay. So did you? How come you ran? Did you run because you have you had warrants, or did you run because you're drunk? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Well, you know you could have hurt somebody. You crashed into the house. You know. If I 
how bad did it crash you? Uh, it could have been worse. You actually, you did some damage to the, your car's actually into the garage. It's in the garage? It, well, not in it, but it's, it, you crashed into the garage. You actually made contact with the garage. Yes, so you didn't stop all the way, okay? You drove in the, a complete stranger's driveway. And then you're running in the backyard, and the one neighbor almost shot you, okay? Yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, you know, the neighbor yells at you, hey, you know, you know shoot him. To, you know, his wife's yelling, shoot him, all right? Because he's got some guy running in his backyard, yes, you know? So uh, it could have been a lot worse. Yes, right now, right now, you're being charged with, uh, you know, DUI and, and misdemeanor hit and run. Yes, okay, no, neither one of those are felonies. Did I hit somebody? Sir? Well, the, you hit the you hit the house. Besides, did I hit any hurt people? No, you didn't hit any, you didn't hurt any people, but you hit the house. You could have hurt some people. Is what I'm trying to tell you. And when I shined a light on you, why why weren't you listening to me? Why didn't you respond to my commands? I was falling asleep, officer. You were falling asleep? Yeah, I was uh, drunk. Man. Underneath the trailer. Yes, so you're sir. saying so you're saying you didn't hear me? I was falling asleep, officer. Because I almost released the dog on you, and if I'd have released the dog on you, it tore you up. I know, I know. And once the dog goes under that trailer and gets you, I know, you, I know, officer. All right. Okay. What else you been arrested for? DUI, you yeah. said. Yeah, I have a warrant. I have, okay. I have a warrant. All right. Any other felonies no. other than the kidnapping? No, officer. Okay. Was that with your uh, your wife and and kid? Is that what the kidnapping yeah. involved? Yeah. Okay. Is no, the, no, 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 no. Not with my wife and kid. Or nothing. No, no, nothing like that. Something different. No. Yeah. Girlfriend or something? Drug dealer. Draw oh, a drug dealer. You kidnapped yeah. a drug dealer? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I gotta honestly tell you, that's the first time I've heard that. These things do make a difference because uh, we publicize them heavily. We'd like to keep these uh, people coming in buying drugs out of here so at least the kids will be safe and they don't have to deal with this on a daily basis. Heads up. Door, single male driver. Oh, there it is. You just asked him for some rock? No, I'm gonna do you right. You got it. And there's the exchange. Come on. Come on, I don't want that. Here. Too little, man. Tell you what. Man, that big old fat thing. I, I can give hey. you a big old fat thing. I don't want that. Check it out. I got some big one. Nah, I'll get some else. Fall right here, baby. And there he goes. He had it in his hand, guys. He had it in his hand. He had it in his hand. Stop! Stop like that! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come all right, Chris, you know why we're here, right? I guess, yeah, yeah. You, well, know, you were just, up, but, yeah, but I didn't buy anything. I was, you were trying to. I was checking it out, but I was more or less, I wasn't buying anything. Oh, well, didn't give me no money. Well, you I didn't give tried to hand him a 20, right? No, sir. You didn't try to hand him any money? No, I didn't try to hand him any money at all. I had money in my hand, but I was not going to hand it to him. But you know why we're here, then, right? I know why you're here. OK. We'll be with you in just a second, right. man. You want a four for 50, so uh, I negotiated for him for 50. Okay. But he said they was too small. When I put them in his hand, he said they was too small. Okay. So at the same time, when he gave me the money, he snatched it back. He said, no, I don't want it. These are too small. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Good job, man. All, right. Uh, all right. We'll get a statement from you in just a bit. Okay. On to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? What you got? What you need? Looks like they're exchanging. Doing the deal now. All right. That's it. Yeah, baby, that's fat. Go, go. Get out of the truck. Get out of the truck. Turn the car on. Turn the car off. Turn it off. Okay, 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 okay. Slowly. Yeah, out easy. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm when out. I'm you out. You come out. Go right down to the ground. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Down to the ground. Down to the ground. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. I'm out. No, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Do you have any weapons on you, sir? No, sir. Any narcotics on no, you? No, sir. Nothing gonna hurt us, poke us, no, break us? No, sir. Nothing. All right. One, two. Up, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. He looks like he crushed it. All right, guys. Okay. Watch it. We got it. Huh? Where's the man going? Yeah, I got it. Okay. 
Uh, you know why we're here? Yes, sir. Okay, you understand what's going on here? Yes, sir. All right, you know you're going to jail? Yes, sir. For purchasing cocaine, right? Yes, sir. All right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have shouldn't bought I just had a bad day, and I don't know what the I'm doing here, man. I'm really sorry. You coming home from work or something? No, sir. No, okay. All right, you throw this down on the ground when they caught you? Hey! I don't, I don't know, sir. Okay, okay. So, this is what he put it in, Bubba? Yeah, yeah, put it in the Marlboro bag. Okay. Yep. I want them to take this in evidence. Good job, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, man. Hey, that's two down, many more to go. Show us the status of Ruth Cooper. So after dark here uh, makes it a little bit more dangerous for us, but uh, it gets pretty busy out here after dark, so see if we can't pick up a few more buyers. Hey, lights, baby, what's up? His ears real, man. And I let My driver's right getting out. Uh, give me a 20 right now. You both of them right there. Yep. All right. Okay, and I'm by the car, guys. Take down, take down. Get out of here. Dog in the car. Canine in the back seat. Hands up. Hands up, we can see him. She's friendly. Passengers in the car. There's a dog in the car. Hands right here. What's your name, man? Joey. What are you doing here, Joey? Being stupid. <laughs> Being stupid? Where are you coming from? San Carlos. You live around here? No, sir. You live down in San Carlos? Yes, sir. Okay. What'd you get from? We got two? I don't understand two. All right, you understand you're arrested for buying crack, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Does your girlfriend do crack, too? I don't know, sir. You don't know? Do you know why you're here? No, I just, I borrowed her car. You borrowed her car? Yeah. Okay, how long have you, how long you known her? For a long time. And you don't know if she does crack or not with you? No. Come on. I don't know. You don't know. No. All right, get, get in the car. How long you known? Uh... For about three years. Okay. Do you know what he was coming here, up here to do? No, I'm not exactly. He just said, will you go for a ride with me? I said, okay. <laughs> okay, you've known him for three years. Did you know he do, does crack? Um, he told me he stopped. Uh, so I didn't even know that he was doing it. Okay. I haven't even seen him in a few weeks anyway, so. You haven't? Just came Tonight's out. Tonight's the first night I Just came out to take a weeks. ride and, yeah. and buy some crack. I wasn't buying. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait right there for me. Who's is this your car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She didn't try and do any of the deal with you at all? No. Okay. I even put it right in her face to see if she would she would go with it too, but she didn't. It, okay. She, no, but just him. all of it was with him through the all window? All of it was him through the window. Yeah. She okay. Would, she wouldn't go with none of it. How much money did he give you? Twenty. Twenty dollars. Great job tonight. Take down, guys. Fantastic job. Everybody's safe. Nobody's hurt. We're looking for a 97 White Tahoe. Oh, there she is. She come running out after him. Yep, there he is. That's a 9230. That's a 90 Is this the husband? This is the husband? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not her husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you call us on him? Mm hmm. Okay. He done gave my keys to uh, somebody. Okay. That dude. Witness. That dude Somebody's was going out to jail. here. No, your ass going to jail. That dude, yeah. I said you got your hair burned. Tina, hey. was, whoa, whoa. You're going to jail. That's all right. I got the money to get out. I got the money to get out. He done took my keys. He okay. some feet to hang my truck. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stay cool. right there. Cool. You got her? I got her if you want to get your cuffs. Yeah. What's your name, ma'am? Tina. Tina? Yeah. And who is this guy that you just hit? John, who lives in my house, who was had a in my yeah. truck. That's fine. That's fine. He's not your well, husband? No, he's, we've been together for seven years, and my I'm kids are not my I listen, ma'am. I was on my own. I'm to cell phone, phone books. I'm going to tell you what happened this morning, OK? He wasn't home to go to work. I was like, OK, I need my truck. I come over here, I ride up some J-Lo bitch was in the back of my truck, butt naked. My kids are at home by their damn self. He's out here. Take it to the car. She's yeah, yakking. My, yeah, my kids. They sure are my kids. They are my kids. Here's a witness when she, when she just tried to run me over. OK. They're both saying that you're a witness. I, I did witness it. OK. The witness, the her hit. She was trying to run him over with that damn car. You see the skid marks right there. Is that it? Yeah. OK. So those are the skid marks. Yeah. OK. So you were here sitting? I was sitting in the car. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. trying to put my mirror on. Okay. And she came up, brought his truck back. Okay. And when she came up, she got in, there was a white Cadillac parked there. She gave him the keys to the truck. This truck, the Tahoe? Yeah, this truck here. Okay. She, she gave him the keys to the truck. She got in the cat got in the Cadillac. Okay. And tried to run him over. The Tahoe was parked in, he was getting in the Tahoe. She, so he was on the driver's side actually trying to get into right, the Tahoe. Right. And, and she backed up trying to hit him. Hell yeah. Okay. Two times. Not once, twice. So she, she both went times forward. Backed up and came back at twice. it. Twice. Okay. And that's the skid marks right there. You can see what she did. Okay. Do you mind if we get your name and information? Uh, you can, but I'm leaving here tomorrow. That's fine. Can you do a statement then? If you can just do us a quick statement here. Sure. All your information there. Yeah, it's the only one I have. Um, she's upset, so just take her. You have to. I mean, with him saying this, so mm -hmm. we're going to take her. We got the, You may take pictures of the skid marks? Sure. Okay, we'll take pictures of the skid marks there. Are there two skid marks or just that one set of skid marks? Both of those are hers. She the curve? The, right, all both just of them. Just the two hers. going straight back or the other set going into it? All, all of those are hers. Okay. One I'll take pictures of one like that. Okay. All of them. Are okay. okay. So we're gonna get him with the written statement, and then we're gonna go talk to her and get her side of the story, and pull her out in, in the back because she's in handcuffs and searched and patted down. Yep. So let's get her out and let's get her side. And he's free to go. Yeah. I want to take some pictures, Teddy. Okay. Okay. Okay, Tina, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Shot. You don't tell the truth. They're gonna Listen keep me. you. They're not gonna give me no bail if you don't tell the truth. That man said I tried to hit you. Tina, come here. Come here, please. Come back here. <laughs> they are twain. I don't know. I know. I know. Come over I here. Work for Where do you work at? Where work do you work? For... Turn, okay, turn right a... here. Look, I am Because I don't want them to be doing anything I, to you. I am not a bad person. Listen. Okay, I don't think you're a bad person, okay? Look, I don't even go around these people, okay? I don't know these people. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I come over here. My car was acting up. I'm thinking, okay, if he's not going to work, Your I'm car myself. being the Cadillac? Or yeah, which car? the Cadillac. It was okay. smoking all over the place. I'm like, well, since he's not going to work, I'm going to get my truck. I pull up on the side of my truck. Okay, what I did not expect to see, him and some girl butt naked in the back of my truck. Okay. 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 I didn't even, you know, you guys see it caught. I didn't lose my composure. I was like, you know what, just get out of my truck now, please, because I don't want to have any drama. Just please get out. I need to get to work. So, I mean, I understand I slapped him. I understand. I'm sorry. I'll pay to get out. But mm -hmm. I did not try to hit him. Okay. Why, why are they telling us that you tried to because hit him then? Because people over there don't even know me. He probably told him to tell you guys that because I hit him. But if he tell you the truth, if he knows they're going to keep me, he'll tell you the truth. They're trying okay. not to let Talk me to out, me. Sean. Is this the Cadillac, They're trying Tina? to get me for some crazy they're not going to let me out. They're going to keep Tina, me. Tina, Tina, listen to me. Focus. How are we going to determine? Sean, can you please call We're him not over here? Sean doesn't want to cooperate. Sean, please cooperate. They're going to keep me. You don't understand. They're trying to put some more charges on me. I'll take this early conduct, but I did not try to run you over. They're going to keep me. I, I already know. Well, then tell them the truth because these people are I telling did. them. What you tell them? They're saying you didn't cooperate. I smacked you, yes. Give me just early conduct, but I, they're going to try to get some other on me that I ain't did. They're going to keep me. Tell him the truth. Well, will you tell him the truth, please? I'm trying to say that never happened. Tell her, please, what, never because happens? I might be going to get yeah. this early We got a total stranger. Out. I would never hurt him. My God, we've been together for seven years. Okay, but you were very emotionally upset. How yeah. am I going to explain the fact that I've got a total stranger that's seen you hit him with the car? He tried or tried to, to hit him. tell you the truth. Sean knows. Okay. Sean, they're going to keep me. Will you tell him the truth? This man's over here telling them they're going to keep me for more charges. Will you tell them? I would never try to hit them. Okay, somebody. Tina. Come on. <laughs> they're going to keep me safe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sean's not saying anything different, right? He's saying it didn't happen. This is the Cadillac that she used earlier, apparently, to uh, attempt to run him over, according to the witness. And the husband or boyfriend, whatever, was being uncooperative, which if he wouldn't have, he didn't want to cooperate, we wouldn't have prosecuted, but because of witness, now she can go to jail. We're taking her to jail for the aggravated assault. Police department. What happened? This is Jeff. I don't know his last name. Okay. He's here for his girlfriend to meet. Did you see him hit her or anything? No, or she, she wasn't here when he got here. He just busted in. Do you need any medical no, attention? Sir, I'm you all right? Just, I'm fine. Okay, I just, what did I'm, he do to you? I got me by the handle me pretty, pretty rough and put Grabbed a knife to my hair, neck. And, knife to your neck. And he said, if you think I'm joking, I'll take one stab to show okay. you that I'm not joking. And 
and, you know, and then he pulled me by the hair and ordered me to the back door. All right, will you write a statement? Yes, sir. All you know is his name is Jeff. That's it, that's it, yes, sir. So what's going on here today? I have no idea. Okay, who's Jeff? Jeff is my wife's, the guy that she lives with. Okay, where do they live at? Uh, some apartments up there off of Sierra and Sierra Vista and... Okay. So Jeff's going out with your wife? Yeah. Okay. Separate. And she came down here. Why are you with your wife now then? If Because they're fighting and she came down here to get away from me. Okay. Because you can see what kind of an idiot he is. Right. Where's he at right now? I have no idea. You have no idea? What kind of car does he drive? It's a blue four-door lamina. Is this your wife, Denise? Yeah, that's her. Going to a disco night or something? No, actually. <laughs> This was, this was a bluff to try to get him to calm down and settle down. And I came straight over here. You bluffed him in some leather pants? Well, they're not. Fake leather. Hush up, dude. <laughs> you know. If you were a gambling person, where would you say you went? Home. Home? Yeah, you think so? I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I don't, I really don't What know. number does he stay in? Does my partner have all that? Yes, sir. What number does he stay in? 330A. 330A? A. Three, Eight. 330, okay. building A. Okay. We'll call you and let you know everything that happened and what he's going to be arrested for and everything else. We're on our way over to an apartment complex where uh, Denise told us where he'd be staying at. She said there's one of three places and this would be the one. She knows for 100% that this is where he lives and uh, believes that he's going to be going back there. Let's see if we can see his car in the parking lot before we go walk up on him. Old Lumina with the temporary. Three John 34, go ahead and come up here. He's pulling up now. Control three John one. We'll be out on our uh, suspect vehicle. Call on top, you like to said red? Uh, hold off for two seconds. Okay. Show me your hands, driver! John 1, go ahead and give us a red. Step out of the vehicle and face away from my voice. Step away. Turn around. Turn around. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Stop. Go down to your knees. Keep your hands out. Go all the way down to your face. Is your name Jeff? Go down to your belly. Is your name Jeff? Hello? Can I ask what about? Is your name Jeff? Yes, sir. Put the cigarette out. Put your hands out to the side. Put the cigarette out. Put your hands out to your side, palms up. Cross your ankles. Do you have any guns or knives on you I need to know about? No, sir. Is there any knives inside of that car I need to know about? I think I have a pocket knife. Uh, probably on the floorboard, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Stay right there and don't move. Turn your head to the right. Uh, Other occupant in the car, come on out. Show me your hands. Come out the driver's door. Keep your hands up. Go ahead and step back here. Not step over here. Yeah. Scoot over. Go down to your knees. Stop right there. Go down to your knees. Go ahead, no, you don't need to go all the way down. Put your, interlace your hands on top of your head. Put down whatever you got. Don't move. Anything on you I need to know about? No, I don't even know what's going on. Okay, I'll explain everything. This has nothing to do with you right now, okay? But seeing how you're with this wonderful guy, Jeff, you're gonna be taken into custody for right now, okay? Is there anything in that car I need to know about? No, I'm not that. No, I don't go ahead and stand on up. Oh. Ready? Okay, sir, I don't know what's going on. Go ahead and come on over here real quick. Go ahead and have a seat right there on the curb. There's a knife actually in plain view that's a fold up knife that looks kind of like the description that she gave us. Also got a burglary tool, which is a dent puller right there. Um, this is actually confirmed the same subject that was involved with us earlier. Um, same description of car, same everything. Um, when we started to give him commands, this is when he started to ditch the knife in the, in the floorboard right there. She's on her way over to do a one-on-one. -on -one. So the girl that you grabbed her hair today is on her way over here. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're under arrest for kidnapping, burglary, and assault with a deadly weapon. 
Yeah, she was positive. Right? Vicky didn't want to have too much to do with you. No offense, but she was just ready to be the, get the heck out of here, okay? She had nothing to do with anything. I know that. How did you break the window? No, all I did was push it. I, just I, I, it, it broke though, right? Yeah, it broke. Okay. It, it did okay. break. It, it, all I did and was push it. And then what happened? You climbed in over? Yeah. You grabbed Donna, right? I didn't grab her. I just... Pushed her? I wouldn't say pushed her. I... Just tell me what you did. I already know. No, she no, already no, told no. me. I went. I got in the room, okay? She was opening up the door. I came in, and she was like, what's wrong? And I said, I want to know where David and Denise are right Run. now. No. Right, so you and said, I want to, you put your arm around her because you didn't think she was telling the truth, right? So you put your arm around her to tell her, no. I want to know where they are now. No. Why did you want to find Denise so bad? I just wanted my keys back to my apartment. I wanted the keys back to my car, and that's it. We have a male suspect. Um, I don't hear on him. He's kind of leaning out. Go ahead and have a seat in the car, and then when we're done with this, we'll get something for you, okay? Oh, I'm trying to tell you what's going on. You don't want to listen? We'll do it another way. Go have a seat, please. Now, go ahead and roll fire. This subject acts kind of weird. Stand for it. Even if I, be around. you have any idea on you? You have any idea on your, on your person? In the house, sir. It's in the house? Where in the house? Where in the house? I'm not quite sure, sir. What have you had today? What, have you taken any drugs or anything? I have had nothing, sir. Step out of the car for me. Come on. Come out here. Put your feet out here. Swing your feet sir, out here. Step out. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Put your feet out here. Stand up. I'm going to help you up. You going to stand up? Yes, sir. Well, okay, come you on. want me to if I that is your you order? Stand up. Come on. Get out here. Come on. You don't have any ID in your back pocket? You might have some 67 on you. Yeah, I have nothing. I didn't nothing. feel any. I just pat him down the first time. I have nothing. What, uh, what have you been taking tonight? Nothing, sir. How come you're all going, you're all sweaty, you're going crazy, you're shaking? What's wrong? Just searching for the Lord. You're searching for the Lord? Oh, man. What did you take? Yeah, what did you take? Nothing. We need to know okay, he's so amped. Look out. at his pupils. All tensed up. How much did you take? We're trying to help you. You want to die right here? How much did you take? Are you smoking glass? No, sir. Are you slamming? Yes, You're not slamming? No, sir. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. You're slamming, aren't you? No, sir. I'm just holding Lots straight right. still. Yeah. That is. Where's... Did you shoot up? He's I'm been slamming. Sir. Yeah, he shot up with some. No, sir. Hey, you got a mark on your arm where the needle was in. Hold her up a second. Hold on. Come here, man. Hour five What's your name? Six, What's hey, your name? Tammy. Hi, I'm Deputy Jones. How you doing? Hi, good. Thanks. You wanna, you wanna tell me what was going on with him? Um, I met him on a week ago Friday mm -hmm. at Roman's Oasis. Um, we we talked all week. You know, I was assuming he was going to work every day, and then today, he um he pulled out a bag, and I'm it's meth, and I did, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's meth. Yeah. I did some of it, but not a whole lot, and he didn't do. But you know, I don't know what he did before. And, that when he started, and about, like, yeah, and about, I would say not even an hour, he just snapped. I mean, this look in his eye was, I thought he was going to hurt me. So yeah. I got, you know, I left. He came with me because people were after him. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, he's he's scary. Yeah. Well, you and then he starts hey, talking ben, about the Book of Mormon and stuff, and I'm like, I got to go. Well, a lot of times they have a religious experience. He's is on that the point. That's his, his high right now is extreme. It just doesn't seem like he had a whole lot, you know? Just that one time and Yeah, he might have so been sneaking stupid. back and doing more and I suspect. He did maybe go to the bathroom. He does did, go to the bathroom. Now. He did go to the bathroom. That's a probably lot. where we're gonna find a syringe because I think he slammed something. Oh my 
I have two jobs. I'm a, you know. Will those jobs go away once you start doing glass? Yes. Yeah, no, I won't start. Kids I'm, go away no, once you start doing glass no, too. I won't. That's I've, what we uh, do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. And that's why you won't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you won't need to see me anymore. Trust okay. me. Because right. I will you're okay. be around that. Me too. Thank you guys very much for showing you up. You bet. You know. <laughs> Thank you for being here. What have you been taking tonight? You got to help me out there, partner. I have taken nothing, sir. When I pulled up to the house, eh, he's standing up by that uh, kneeling next to the driver's side door of this truck here. He was kneeling? Yeah, holding this Bible in between his hands. You know? He's definitely high. Steve, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand you up and sit you down on this gurney here so they can take you to the hospital, OK? Sir. I'm going to take your handcuffs off of you. No, sir, please leave them on, sir. I need to take them off so you can sit down on that gurney right there. They're going to go ahead and strap you down, though, okay? So you're not going to go anywhere, okay? Is he under arrest? Stand up, Steve. Stand up. Put your feet underneath you. Put your feet underneath you. I'm not going to hold you up. Put your feet underneath you. I'll stand. Okay, there you go. Select the man. Yes, sir. Lord. Hey. My knees are... Jesus is my savior. Come on, Steve. Hey, Steve. Do me a favor. Sit down on this gurney right here. Fall down, Steve. Come on. Walk on over here. There we go, Bob. Put your back right up against the back here. Swing your feet up there. That's OK. You don't have to say anything. Put your feet on up here. Let them take care of you. Well, here you see the results of methamphetamine uh, use and abuse. A uh, gentleman's now finally admitted to uh, slamming methamphetamine, which is intravenously use of meth methamphetamine. Uh, he was snorting it, and he's completely out of hand, so. Looks like it might be up here on the left. See if there's any other, any other bones along with it, and uh, see what it can tell us. It's early age 38, 36, and 4209 arrived. Said her dog was trying to play with it yesterday. Uh, she's gone, but I got her, her voluntary. She had to go. Um, said the dog was trying to play with it yesterday. She didn't know what it was, obviously. And then uh, this morning, the dog kind of got away from her and started rubbing on, on the thing, and she took a closer look and found out what it was. I think we're going to find the, the remains inside the. I think you're right. Inside the little collar. Well, from what uh, the. The county uh, parks guy said that they were here two, two three weeks after the, the right, major he's flood doing last week, yeah. or last year, fixing the landscaping, and they got flies uh, and a bad smell coming out of that pipe, so. And he just assumed it was maybe a dead animal or something. Right, well, it was probably a dead person. It may have been just somebody sleeping in there. I mean, it's possible. It's a real small space. We'll see. Yeah. We noticed the, these things here. There's some ribs. Looks like what's ribs oh, yeah. poking out right there. And then that looks like some sort of a piece of clothing. It's green, long sleeve. Long sleeve. Looks like a sweatshirt. An extra long like a flannel or something? It's not buttoned up? It's oh, a no, champion. It's... OK. Yeah, it's, it's a sweatshirt. sweatshirt. OK, this is number one. Somebody grab that and take it to the uh, screen here. Each item of evidence is being taken by bucket over to the uh, screens and then washed clean. Found a cell phone in the cell phone in the shirt. Excellent. In the pocket. Excellent. You fire it up then, Cliff. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's there gonna coming. be no fire into this. Look how rusted it is. Okay. All right. Can you believe that? It's an SUG. There was a sweatshirt that was found in there, and the sweatshirt had a, a pocket in the front. We found this uh, cell phone in the pocket of the sweatshirt, so we're recording the numbers off of it so that we could track it down and maybe find out who it belonged to later on. She's just examining the remains that we've recovered so far, and she, with her background, she's able to, t to make some determinations as far as sex. Yeah, that's a male Caucasian. She was able to determine that the the crack on the one side of the, the left side of the skull that one of the detectives had noticed 
is actually natural and it's not any sign of trauma. So it doesn't look like we have any trauma at this time. And we get a hold of their customer service and obviously it's an unusual request. So they, uh, she's tracking down another number that we can get a hold of, doubtless uh, somebody with their um, security department. It's very possible. So you ha you have annotated in your records there that this phone was reported missing, and uh, as well as the person. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. We uh, you got an ID on this guy. Yeah, we do. Cool. Is he a missing person? Yes, he is. He was. Uh, they have an annotation in there in March, but it seems he said it looks like the records go back further than that, and they have uh, in their records that the phone was reported missing as well as the person. Hey, Dino. Sir, some Scott. info for you. Okay. Uh, he was uh, reported missing. Dad reported him missing. And what happened was, in the details uh, of the call, and you can pull it up, but just uh, Dad found the car abandoned at Durango and Lone Mountain, right over here. Okay. Well, and then Craig ends up being familiar with this victim here. Had multiple, multiple calls at uh, at the house, and okay. seemed like there was a little. Schizo type calls. Neighbors afraid of them, digging in the front yard. Oh, really? Uh, talking to people that aren't there, type thing. Hey, Flo, you trying to get a hold of Trying to find people that are in the tunnel underneath the house. Okay, we had the cadaver dogs come out and they did their search and we recovered quite a few more bones. Now we've got public works out here. They're in here with the big power hose and they're going to wash that out. Hopefully, we can get some of that debris to come out and we can search through it after uh, it gets cleaned out of that uh, drainage pipe. Okay, that's exactly what we were hoping would happen right there. We're starting to get some more of these uh, pieces of bones that are washing out with that pressure wash. So it's working exactly like we'd hoped. Oh, there we go. Clothing with bones. We have his uncle who's who's here. If you come around with me, I'll show you the, the sweatshirt. Fairly well preserved cell phone. Cell phones where we got the electronic serial numbers. That was actually still entrapped in the uh, the front pocket for the double pants. Anybody? No idea. If he crawled in there and he got stuck and couldn't get out, he's not gonna get his hands down to his waist. It's just not gonna happen. There's no indication, at least at this point, from what we see on the skeleton. We have a forensic anthropologist that's standing at the mouth of the uh, pipe. In addition to the crime scene analysts, have gone over each bone meticulously at this point. And uh, I would venture to guess that it'll end up being undetermined cause of death. Uh, we don't have a lot to say that this is uh, that there's foul play involved here. We have um, from officers that have been that have responded to this, who we believe to be this individual's residence in the past, and uh, there was a, uh, a pattern of, of um, drug abuse and some, some mental health issues, specifically related to there was a, a contact that the police made in which he was found um, digging with a pickaxe in his uh, front yard. In, a, in an actual physical attempt to get to these tunnels, he believed that were that were uh, being uh, excavated underneath this house. And uh, at this point in time, we're going to continue on with our investigation and follow up all possible leads. Got another unit on the street side. Hopefully, uh, we'll see some gang members run run our way. See what happens. Okay, we're northbound now. Clear at eight. Continuing northbound. Eight. Is that? Okay, clear. Oh, we got a deal going down. How you doing? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey. You out here dealing drugs again, buddy? The only reason why you're here, you know me and I know you, right? Right? We know each other, right? We manage to. That's right. See, and I know that you're dealing drugs, right? So what other reasons could you have to be in here? You, you're seeing who? A girl, sir. A girl? Who? Her? No. Oh, come on. You know, that's not my taste, Gary. No, it's not your taste? No. What's your taste? I have to do respect, 
Yeah, you got the cash. I know you're not working. I know you're not employed, and you got the money. I got a family. You got a family to support. I'm gonna put these handcuffs on you, okay? Put your hands behind your back for me. You're not under arrest, but I think you might have threw some drugs right there on the ground. I'm gonna make sure you got enough. Okay, I'm gonna make sure you got any guns or drugs on you, okay? Okay, okay you just step out of the car for me. Right Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Walk back towards me. Spread your feet out. Where do you live at, buddy? In Laguna Hill. Spread your feet out a little bit more. More. There you go, thank you. Laguna Hills? Yeah. Are you lost? No. What are you doing over here? That's my friend right there. The girl? The girl, uh-huh. What's her name? Well, I had just met her. So she's not really a friend then? Well, I picked her up. Where'd you pick her up at? Up there on first. First Street? Mm-hmm. Out there by the hotels? No. Okay, do me first. Sit down. Right here. Cross your feet like that guy. You understand? Yes. Do you, do you have a drug, a drug problem? No. You're not here no. to buy drugs? No. Are you she sure? She asked me to give her a ride. She said she had a friend that needed a ride. Do you so. use drugs? No. At all? Nope. The only thing I do is drink every once in a while. And that's it. Is, are those your real eyebrows? Yeah. They're, are they not painted or tattooed or anything like that? Well, I use, like, um, I dye them sometimes. Uh-huh. Sometimes I use eyebrow pencils. Okay, are there any guns or drugs in your car? No, sir. Not We're just going to verify that. Is that all right with you? Go ahead. Are you sure these guys, no one threw drugs inside your car or anything like that? I don't have any drugs in my okay. car at all. You don't know if uh, she's on parole, probation? I have no idea. This is cocaine base. There was one piece here and another piece right here. The uh, kid on the other side threw it down on the ground. He was obviously making a drug deal with this guy. And coincidentally, the females got the drug paraphernalia. Came with him, so that's not too hard to figure out what they're doing. The good thing is, we know you guys come down here to buy drugs. It's not a big deal, you understand? The good thing about this situation is that you don't have any drugs on you. There's no drugs in your car, and there's no drug paraphernalia in or around that car. You understand? Yes, sir. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly, you seem like a nice person, Kelly. And all I'm asking is for your honesty, okay? Tell me about the conversation you had with these two gentlemen. So he just pulled up right now. Huh? He just pulled up and he asked if maybe he could get a ride and I asked if he wanted in the front of the back. Who? The guy, I didn't talk so about anything else yet. You pulled right up. We, we got here too early, huh? Right? Okay. Well, thank you for your honesty. You can't be coming down to our alleys and to buy drugs, you understand that? You promise? Sorry, I promise. Huh? I promise. Just sit right there. On the other side. Look what I found in his uh, pocket. Oh, that's in your pocket? More it's rocks? Large, right? The containers belong to me, oh, sir. Okay. Yeah, he says... Oh, well, that's a lot uh, of rock. I don't he know, says, rock uh, cocaine and garbage. Right? All right. He says he's out here watching. It's, uh, he's also got a we'll, we'll put him in the car and have uh, Tony take him in. You want to put him in the car? So you're going to be honest with me? Yes. You promise? Yes. Okay. I'm going to ask you simple questions. Just be honest with me, okay? I want to know, uh, we've been watching you for a while. How, how many drug deals did you do today? Only like two or three. Only like two or three? Yes. How much money have you made today for, for selling drugs? Well, I'm not the one I'm here to look out for the cops. Okay, so you're the lookout for the cops? Yes. Okay, that's fair. Okay, well, thank you for your honesty. Okay? I appreciate it. But sit tight, I'll be right back. So consider both of yourself very lucky. As soon as we're done conducting our investigation, you will leave and you will not come back to any high narcotic area in our city. You understand me? Yes, sir. Your names will be documented on this report. What happened to your eyebrows? <laughs> you never finished telling me that story. I know, they're old. Well, your hair is like blonde and your eyebrows are black and they look like they're tattooed and uh, are they painted or tattooed on it's, it's um, eyebrow pencil pencil yeah at first if you have your eyes closed they kind of look like eyes you know what i'm saying <laughs> worms <laughs> yeah like worms all right well both you drug users will not hang out in our city anymore right no, sir. and you're gonna say no to drugs We got a domestic call where a female called saying her ex-boyfriend was banging on the front door. Uh, he kicked the door in and then the line went dead. 15 control.
Go ahead. What happened? Um, I told him to get out of my house so that I didn't want him in my home anymore. Which so is your apartment? Uh, 305, the one where the door's open. Okay. And I wanted him to leave, and he just kept insisting, knocking on my door, trying to get in. And I just wanted him out of my house. I wanted him to get away, away from me. That's and what, I want. what is he to you? He's my ex-boyfriend. Is that his motorcycle? No. So how did he get inside? He tried getting in through the window. And did he make it in? He tried to, but no. He Who just, do you he live with? Myself. So did he hit you? No, he hasn't. No, but I had a previous restraining order, but it expired on. So I just wanted him to leave and just never oh. come back. So why is he coming over here? Wanting to be with me, and I don't want. I don't want to be with him. Has he been trespassed off this property? Uh, well, I, this is like the second time he comes over here, but he's really not been trespassing at all. Okay. I just wanted him to leave the house, leave my where I'm at, so he could just go away. So he didn't hit you? No, he didn't. And he didn't actually make it inside. No. Okay. I just want to All right, just wait over here for a second. It's cool. I don't want to be with her no more. Well, how you. come? What happened? Because she, she made it come to this point. I don't want her no more. What point did it come to? The point that she had to prove all y'all all out here in front of everybody how much after all we've been through that she can just on me. How did you cry? How, how did you get inside? And I went through the window, man, because I knew it was open. She left it open for me. She continues one minute she wants to be with me, the next minute she don't want to be with me. When was the last time you were with her? Man, we was, we been together. We're together right now. But now it's over, man, because I got to move on. We need time apart. Exactly. Maybe we need time apart, maybe man. That's what you... Maybe we'll be together now, but it probably won't happen because I can't do it. What is, she what's your... love me all the time unconditionally. I what's your name? Go. Michael. Where were you raised? I was raised in Las Vegas. What do you do? Man, I don't do much to nothing, man. Right now, I collect unemployment checks. And you love her? I love that girl with all my heart, man. She was first love, my first love, my first loss. But do you understand you can't be climbing in the window? I understand man. that I can't make that girl love me if she don't want to be with me. That's well, what, oh, my God. Well, that's a mature decision, and I respect that. But you can't climb in the window. That's why everybody freaked out. True. You know, when everyone, the neighbors and everyone saw it, because it wasn't necessarily just her. There were other people saw you climbing the window that... You it's know, embarrassing, and that's why. It's... She never said anything bad about you, in all know, honesty. She, she just said it right now. She just don't want to be with me no more. She, I, maybe, maybe. I don't know, man, just because I, you have to ask her why she don't want to be with me. No, nah, it's just I don't want him to be around anymore because back in the day, he was a very abusive person, and I really just don't want to be with him, period. Because I have a six-year-old son that does not need to see that. It just hurts because I love her, man. Look at that. You're not going to hurt yourself, are you? Man, I, sometimes I feel like it, man, but I'm not stupid enough to go there. You, do you want to do it? You want to hurt yourself tonight? Well, sometimes I want to crash, man, because sometimes the pain just gets too much, man. I need counseling, y'all. I need some reaching. I mean, somebody We'll give you some information. I need some help, man. I need a place to stay. I need a, okay, a, a, an understanding of how a goal that I would need to accomplish. I need to understand a map line, how I'm going to reach that goal. I need some help on my nights that I get lonely, that I'll come over here acting a fool. I need a lot of going on in my life, you know what I mean? I, and I really, I'm reaching out to y'all, man. If y'all can help me, you know what I mean? Come help me out, cuz. All right, when we get ready to go after he runs, you come over to my car and I'll give you some information on ways to go, okay? Uh, we're coming, me and my son are gonna go to sleep. Okay, okay. so you don't want him uh, to, to uh, come over tonight? No, or ever again, I just don't want him around here. Oh, wow. I don't have to another it's, <laughs> Listen, you know how many breakups I've been through, man? <laughs> yeah, but this is my first, man. All right, well, this is my last, and I don't know how to okay. quite how to deal with it. Come on, relax, <laughs> it'll be okay. And just, just that, I appreciate that, man, because I don't know what I would do. Don't worry about it. I told you. We're here to help you. <laughs> Are you broke? No, I'm not broke. I got my unemployment check today, you know what I mean? And I just have to go get my hair right on him, a smart kid. And I just couldn't get over the fact that I loved her and that she didn't love me. She did, and that's exactly what happened. Two years, she sent me mixed signals, and I wanted to believe the one I wanted to believe in. I tried to ignore everything else. Some women are notorious for doing that. Man, and that's all she did to me, man. I'm gonna give you some numbers, okay? I'm gonna write down a friend of mine who is actually the head of the um, uh, Clark County Community Services. I mean, she's the boss. I want you to call her and I want you to spill your heart out to her and tell exactly where you stand. She might even be able to lead you to getting a job. Okay. Officer Curtis is my name. 
she will definitely lead you in the right path. But if you're as honest with her as you are with me about the things that are going on in your life, I mean, she can definitely help you out. I mean, as far as work, as far as counseling, as far as everything is, you don't know how good you got it right now, man. Half the people that I run into don't have half of what you got. And the most important thing you got is that you're honest with yourself about how you feel. I'm leaving right now. Please call her tomorrow. All right? Make the right choice, man. Take care.